Hello, everyone, and welcome to the WIA football playoff edition of our Prep Rally Series. This is Level 2. I'm Rob Hernandez, joined by Dennis Semrau. And Dennis, as we take it to a whole new level, Level 2, a whole week for teams to prepare, unlike uh, the previous format. But uh, before we get to Level 2, let's talk Level 1. A lot of great games last weekend to start out the postseason. Yes, I was uh, at um, Madison Edgewood Lodi. Kind of a surprise there. Edgewood 24 0 shutout. Team speed uh, was the difference. Chris Wells with an 80 yard touchdown run on his 18th birthday. Pretty cool. Jack Swetler had a 77 yard touchdown catch. Sam Richards, a great defensive effort. Lodi moved the ball, but they just couldn't do anything with the Edgewood defense. Well, we go out to the region, Divisions 4 through 7. And uh, let's go to Division 5 for our Level 1 Game of the Week. It was uh, Cambridge at Darlington last Saturday. They go to double overtime, Dennis, and Alex Resnick scores on a two-point conversion run after their second overtime touchdown. Now, both teams were 7-2 uh, coming into the, uh, into the ball game, so it was an even matchup on paper. They battled through five lead changes before Cambridge tied it in the fourth quarter to force the overtime. Cambridge scores on their very first possession of overtime on the 25-yard run by Resnick. Darlington scores on its possession to answer, and then the, the first possession of the second overtime. Mike Klingbeil, the coach at Cambridge, decided after Cambridge scores on that, uh, on that final, uh, uh, on their possession of the second overtime, we're ending it right here. We're going for two. If we get it, we're going on. If we don't, we gave it our best shot. I like that kind of attitude. Gutsy call, reminiscent of Reedsburg in the state title game a few years ago, going for two. You like that at that point. They're on the road. Let's win it. All right, performers of the week will stay in uh, Divisions 4 through 7 to start. Uh, obviously, Alex Resnick finished with uh, 235 yards, rushing, 40, had a 46-yard touchdown catch in that ball game. But, Dennis, i got to go to a, a tandem that you saw on Saturday night. The Broadhead Judah backfield of Jaron Harding and Jesse DeLorme, they combined for 309 yards of rushing. DeLorme scores five touchdowns. The Cardinals trounce a very good Platteville team, 55-20. Now they go on to a level two game uh, Saturday at Racine St. Catharines, but uh, that combination will be tough to stop in the postseason. Why didn't I pick them to win state? I saw that game. Yep. They scored the last eight possessions, and, and a rarity, the last touchdown kind of excused me we didn't mean to. They took a knee rather than kick the extra point. So showing a little bit of class there, but definitely an outstanding run attack. Well, mine, we go to the air, uh, Sun Prairie, uh, sophomore Ryan Curran, three touchdown passes, the last one with eight minutes, 21 seconds to go to rally Sun Prairie to a 22-21 win over Lake Geneva Badger, give them a round two game. All right, let's look ahead now to level two, and we begin with our game of the week. I'll start in Division Four, where Lakeside Lutheran hits the road. They go to Marshall on Saturday, Dennis, 4 p.m. kickoff, and what a matchup this shapes up to be. Lakeside won the Northern Capital Conference. Marshall won the Southern Capital Conference. They didn't meet in the, in the uh, weeks three and four crossovers, so this is a quasi-conference championship game. What makes this even big, a better matchup is the fact that their only losses, each of them, was to Jefferson in non-conference play. So uh, throw in the fact that it's a second-round playoff game, and it doesn't get any bigger than this. No, it doesn't. Um, i got to go with uh, Beaver Dam and DeForest. DeForest might be looking ahead to Wana, a possible Wanakee, but some of the players went and saw that game and scouted Beaver Dam, were impressed with the running attack. Beaver Dam has a lot of players that go both ways. DeForest does not. That might prove to be the difference. It might be. And two of the great running backs in the state in that ball game, Beaver Dam's R.J. Shelton and, of course, Briar Harper of DeForest, uh, a kid that's rushed for more than 2,000 yards. That game on the road for DeForest uh, in Level 2. Wanakee also on the road in Level 2. A lot of people wondering why do uh, highly seeded teams have to go on the road. It all has to do with who hosted in the first round. Beaver Dam did not, and uh, neither did uh, uh, on Alaska. And I beg to differ. I think if you get that seed, even if uh, the other team didn't, you should be able to host. And actually, Verona having to go to Harlan Arrowhead, yep. who's probably the fifth best team and could have been seeded in almost any other one. Verona has to go there, a number one seed, and play on their turf. And I stand corrected. Beaver Dam did host, but they're the higher seed in the quadrant. That's, that's the reason they're hosting. So uh, a lot of teams that are in line to host uh, that could, but uh, that game goes to Beaver Dam. Wanakee goes to Onalaska. And uh, it's just a crazy, crazy playoff system. We talked about it last week, but uh, Dennis, we're on to level two, and, uh, and I don't think teams really care where they play, do they? No, they play in an alley if they could, just to get, just to get another game. All right, well, uh, DeForest and Beaver Dam will be our WisconsinPrepZone.com Game of the Week. You can see all the highlights and post-game uh, reaction from the players and coaches right here on WisconsinPrepZone.com. For Dennis Semrau, I'm Rob Hernandez. Enjoy Level 2 of the postseason, folks. We'll see you at the stadium.